Right after Crystal went missing, Tommy Ballard launched a massive search for his daughter. But on the morning of November 19th, 2016, he was shot and killed while hunting with his grandson. Investigators haven't ruled out the possibility that this was a hunting accident, but Casey and his family are convinced that Tommy was murdered because he was getting too close to the truth about Crystal's disappearance. So, Stephanie, this morning, we're going to meet up with Jim, having a former um, ATF boss. And we're going to review the crime scene where Tommy was killed. Right? Jim Cavanaugh is a former ATF agent and ballistics expert. He is going to walk us through the scene of Tommy's shooting and get us some possible answers if it was an accident or not. Hey, Jim, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Jim. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. So, Casey, I'd love for you to show the guys the spot you showed me. You can actually see where somebody took a saw and cut the limbs. Oh, it's a clearing right here. This is the only right in big front of clearing. Us. Is that it? 70, 72 70 yards. yards. Well, you know with a rifle, that's not a far shot. Yeah, like if you look, like you can actually see where somebody took a saw and cut the limbs. That's a, that's a big limb. This used to be a gate or something? No, it actually used to be grown up just like this. I mean, the whole fence line. It looked like the rest of the Yeah, it looked like the rest of the fence line, yeah. What this is? This is a surveillance port. Mm -hmm. This ain't a shooting port. Yeah. So what they did was they cut so this they open before so they Tommy see, was they shot. Could monitor right, they could monitor it. So right. they could just pull up here. They could see if anybody's hunting. Basically, Jim believes this was a lookout point, that someone cut these branches so that they could stake out the field and lay in wait. <laughs> Thank you. 